My name's uh, Keith Hilson. Uh, I'm the head of leakage for South East Water. And South East Water supplies 2.1 million customers across the south east of England in Hampshire, Berkshire, Sussex and Kent through about uh, 14,500 kilometres of uh, water main. The business over the last 15 to 20 years has been installing uh, pressure reducing valves to help control uh, better the pressures on the, on the network and deliver a more constant pressure to customers. The infrastructure across South East Water, we have uh, approximately 1,200 district metre areas or, or DMAs. However, um, we have always known that we can go another step further and there is further refinement or optimization of that pressure management that can be done. As we entered into the start of uh, this calendar year, 20, 2012, um, we were uh, facing drought conditions. We'd had a second dry winter in the southeast of England. So as a business, we looked at all of the options available to us to help manage uh, the situation through the drought. We were looking for all sorts of ways to try and mitigate putting on hosepipe bands and all those sorts of things. One of the options um, was the I2O system based on the trial that we've been doing over the previous two years. And we also saw it as an opportunity to optimise the pressures uh, across a much wider area and reap those benefits elsewhere. I think we placed the initial order uh, in uh, April um, and we were looking for uh, completing the project by uh, about September time, uh, around about now. Um, so it's a very rapid deployment and that's one of the reasons that we chose the system is because it was something we could deploy fairly quickly so that we get the benefit during the summer. We have ordered 200 systems uh, of the i 2 systems and presently we have deployed 159. We have a uh, further 41 to go which we're expecting to do over the next month. We've applied the system to approximately one-fifth of our DMAs so it's a significant uh, proportion that uh, we've, we've installed the system on. A conventional PRV is a set with a fixed pressure at the outlet um, and that fixed pressure depending on uh, how the network is set up or how the DMA is set up you will often have to have that at a much higher level of outlet pressure to make sure that you deliver water at the right pressure to all of the customers in the area. What the I2O system allows you to do is to control that pressure based on demand because the pressure in the network will change depending on the flow rate through the pipes. So if you can control that much better against demand then you're always optimising the pressure to the, the best level that you can. A technician can install two to three I2O systems per day. Once the uh, system is installed there's then a data collection and optimization period and that process as I say takes 10 to 14 days before you reach a point of uh, full optimization of the system. And what we're seeing at the moment from uh, about 30 systems is we're seeing a nightline saving which is a very conservative estimate of about half a megalitre per day and a demand reduction of about a megalitre per day um, across those 30 systems. If we extrapolate that out across the 200 systems we're expecting up to uh, five or six megalitres a day reduction on the night line and up to approximately 10 megalitres a day demand reduction. And if we achieve that, we will be uh, very close to achieving exactly what we set out to do at the start of the project. The main benefits we've seen so far are on demand and leakage reduction. We uh, also, as we've deployed the devices, not only have we not received any uh, customer complaints, which has been perfect, um, shows good deployment of the system and the system is doing what it should. Um, we're also seeing reductions in R&M costs um, in that we're not getting such a high burst frequency or, or leak occurrence. Once the, the technicians installed it and set the, the device up, that's the last time we need to visit it. All of the optimization and control that follows is then done from the back office without us having to visit site. But we're also looking back to the pumping station, looking at total network control uh, to include trunk mains and all of those sort of items. So it gives us some network control, almost like having a SCADA system on your network. And that we see is very useful if we do get in ever, ever headed towards further water restrictions. Um, that would actually enable us to manage that much, much easier and we would be able to do it from the back office rather than sending out field technicians to carry out operations.